in this video we are going to see how to create settings app or settings panel for an app for that first you have to install the settings app i have already done that you can find the code for settings app in our git hub repo import this xml file and you will get the settings app follow the instructions mentioned in this text file once settings app is imported you will be able to see this screen now, now let's see an example of how to create a settings uh, panel for an awesome app. For that, you have to go to config, create a module called as settings, and Create a template called as settings. With this, we should be able to get this tab. This is still not done, of course. This is not enough. This is what you get if you do just this much. Now, we are going to create two tabs. So we are going to, for this app, we are going to create uh, two tabs and bunch of these group settings. For this, let's create the tabs. So this is the code that will give us the tabs. So what I've done is this is uh, we have created a settings navigation array. Uh, so this is what we have done. Now let's see. So nabs are basically these tabs. Uh, this is the form slug that we will be using. This is the label. Uh, this is the tab or form which will, once it gets created here, uh, it will become the ID of that form. This is the label. And we can say which is the default form. Basically, which tab will become the default. Now that we have created settings navigation, let's create the form. Now, this general setting and this general setting has to match. So this is basically the form array uh, based out of AW form service. So just so you know, settings app requires AW form service to display these form fields and hand handle the saving of these forms. And this is the configuration for aw form so what we have done is we have said that we don't want the validation we have said save uh, we have not specified the save handler or callback handler we have said submit button is needed and we have told the aw form service that the form control service for these fields that we are using is form control and here is the list of allowed fields so that when the forms are being saved, even if you have more than, if you, even if you put additional fields, if you do not give the permission to those fields here, they will not get saved. So this is to ensure that only the fields or keys that are allowed to be submitted 
for the settings app get saved. Hence this attribute called allowed fields. Again, this is part of the AW form service and nothing new here. It's just, this is nothing but just a additional, uh, this is just the configuration of AW form service to render a form. Now in this group, we have created two groups. These has to be unique. A group set has to be unique within the form service or within one tab. This grouping, we have given it a label and a class and the fields. These fields, you know, email type. Again, this is basically, if you know AW forms, this is how it is being written. That no big deal here. There are two fields we have specified, email and address. Uh, email and address, these are the keys. These are the types. They are both editable, some classes. And two more fields. Favac and Jcode, both text. Let's see how it looks. So as you can see, this tab is ready, but the maintenance is still not there. Let's put some fields. Submit. Setting is saved. As you can see, right? Now let's create the second tab. We have to do the do it in the same manner. No difference here. Here is a second set. Remember this key has to match with the. Now in this we have only two keys allowed. And in this case I will be changing the form control to form control. So that I can show you the difference. Like you know these fields. Well, within a config, the fields must belong to a single form control service. We can have different tabs having different form control. See? Different form control having different support. And I'll show you how this is changes based on the form control of course see this so form control has a uh, rendering of fields like this while form control 2 has a rendering of fields like this yeah so this is all it is, everything else is similar. These group keys has to be unique. Other than that, all, all same. So we have bunch of ads and the group in which we have fields. That's it. This is all we have to do to get us a settings panel for an app. Now let's reload this page to see where these values are being saved. So as you can see, all these form field values are being saved in the settings post itself as we have been saving earlier. So so this is all about how do we create a settings panel in awesome enterprise using settings app.